Okay, let's take a look at this um, revision of depreciation problem here, and I've solved it already, and I'll just go through and walk you through it. Okay, here's the issue. We've got a building that originally cost 550000 depreciate over 25 years. We say we're going to do some major structural repairs. These are expected to extend the life. That's a big key right there because anytime we see extension, that to me means the EXT reminds me of extraordinary repairs, not a betterment. It's an extraordinary repair, which means it's going to extend the life. You're probably going to have to recalculate the depreciation, which they do in Part D eventually. First of all, leading up to this is what's the depreciation in all the past years? Well, it's pretty straightforward, actually. We've got 550, no residual value. It's negligible for 25 years, so I think that's pretty straightforward. So let's just go take a look at that. Okay, I think that looks like this. 550 divided by 25 years gives me 22,000 per year. So A is pretty easy. Okay, straightforward. Part B, to what account should the cost of the repairs be debited? Well, if you look in your book on page, I believe it's 337, it talks about extraordinary repairs as we did in the lecture, and you could do it either way. You can actually debit the actual asset account some accountants like to debit the accumulated depreciation account. Either way, the effect is the same, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so the original asset account was building. That's the asset we're talking about here. So you would simply add the cost of those repairs to building. Okay, the original cost was 550. All right, and so what's going to happen later is you are going to add um, whatever the cost was, $50,000 to that. Now, there's another little wrinkle here to this whole thing, which is what's the book value of the building after the repair has been recorded? You need to know this to calculate your new depreciation once you've added the $50,000 here to your asset. Okay, so we need to go back and figure that out, and it's a little bit tricky. This is where these problems get a little bit fun or frustrating if you're not following along. Okay, in Part C, there is a way to do this. You have to take the new net book value eventually and divide it by the remaining life of the asset. We know it adds eight years here, right? Eight years to the life of the building, but they don't tell us at what date. Is it six years in? Is it 12 years in? Is it 18 years in? They don't tell us, but they do give us this, okay? So if you know what 330,000 is, and you know that our annual depreciation expense has been 22,000, you can figure out exactly how many years of depreciation that represents. So it looks a little something like this, okay? Uh, first of all, they say, what's the net book value? Well, 550 minus 330 equals 220K before repairs. All right, add the cost of the repairs. So you take that plus 50K and we get 270K, okay? You're going to need that. You need the $270,000 um, is the net book value that is still left to be depreciated However, the trickiest part of this is, well, what is that depreciation expense? Is 270 divided by what? I don't know what the remaining life is unless they do a calculation. Okay, so i got to look at it this way, all right? I've got to say, hmm, if accumulated depreciation was 330000 as they said, then I need to know that, remember this number, 22000 per year? I can figure out that that 330K, which is in dollars, this was actually came from 22,000 per year ticking along. So if I just go 330 divided by 22, I'll get 15 years is the total um, number of years of depreciation that represents. So we're 15 years into this thing. What happens next is if I say 25 years of life minus 15 years in means we have 10 years left for depreciation. But wait, didn't the repair make uh, this go longer for uh, eight more years? So I really have 18 years left. So all I have to do now at the end is I have to go 270,000. That's the book value. Remember, it was 220 plus 50 for the repairs makes 270. Now I divide by the 18 years that remain, right? We had 10 years without the repair. The repair added eight more years, so it's 18 years. Do the math. You get 270 divided by 18. It's 15,000 per year for the next 18 years. Now, we have to figure this out because... That should work. Okay. Hope that works for us.